Now that the cold weather is here, some of you will not be using your motorhome or caravan over the winter months. So in this video, we're going to give you some basic tips of how to protect your pride and joy over the winter months from the cold weather, because it could affect your insurance. One of the most important jobs when you winterize your motorhome is to fully drain all the water systems because most insurance companies will not honor any claims caused by water freezing in any parts of the water system, usually between November and March. Okay, so let's start by winterizing your water system. So the first thing we're gonna do is your waste. So the waste is normally found, the waste tap is normally found on the outside of your van. And this one is here, a great tap with which you open it up to empty all your waste water out. So next we're going to do is fresh water. And there's a couple of places you can drain down your fresh water tank. On this van, it's on the outside, just like your waste tank. It's a blue tap, and again, we open it up and that empties all your fresh water out of your water tank. On, on some motorhomes, the fresh water drain off is actually a bung inside the tank. So on this particular model, we have a hatch and then we unscrew the fresh water tank tap and then you'll find a bung in the tank where you can drain the fresh water off. Okay, so we've drained down a wastewater, we've drained down a fresh water, now we need to drain down a water heater itself. Now there's a few different ways of draining down your water heater depending on your water heater. Now on the older vans you have the carver, which is the carver here. And if you can just see down here, you have the drain plug. So with screwdriver, we undo the drain plug. And that's your drain plug for your carver water heater. Now if you want, you can put it back in again and don't screw it up tight or you can put it inside your motor home um, somewhere safe so you know where it is. If you need to know where your water heater is on the inside of the van, the easiest way to find where it is, a quick way is, wherever your flue is on the outside of the van, the water heater will be located on the inside of the van here. So, the flue was roughly round about here on the outside of the van, so we can safely say the water heater is going to be round about here underneath the bench. So if we remove the cushions, lift it up, there we go, we've got the Truma system. And the way we drain down the Truma on this one, is you see the yellow lever here, we lift it up and that dumps all the water out of the Truma heater. On the newer Trumas, what we've got here, to drain it off we must turn the blue knob. And can you see here how the blue buttons come out? So when you do actually fill water back into it, you must turn this knob back again and push the button in. So you drain off, we turn the knob and you can see the buttons just come out. Um, normally with these Truma eaters, um, with this um, drain off, if it goes normally below 3 degrees, it will automatically dump the water out. Therefore as well, if the leisure battery goes flat, it will again dump the water automatically out. And probably the last one uh, for draining down your water heater on is the one with the red uh, lever. As you can see there, it works the same way as the other one. Um, below 3 degrees, it will automatically dump the water out and you lift it up um, to let the water back in and then you press it down and to dump all the water out. Another thing to remember is not to leave any standing water in your water pump. So what you can actually do is disconnect the filter here um, to let any water that's left in the pump just drain out. Okay, we've drained down our waste tank, we've drained down our fresh water tank, we've drained down the water heater. Now, any more standing water, what we can do is open the tap up in the mid position 
and then we can also go into the bathroom we can do the same for the shower and what you can do as well screw the shower head and drop that down there so we have got a flow of any excess water that might be still in the pipes <laughs> another tip if you want to um, why you're not using the van over winter is if you want put your plugs into your plug hole and that'll stop any smells entering the van from the waste tank okay so that's the water system all drained down what we've got to do now is the cassette toilet now most cassette toilets uh, do use the water from the fresh water system so any excess water that's um, in the pipes just flush through um, the cassette toilet on other cassette toilets like this one where they do have their own water reservoir and you fill your water up um, through here and then you've got your dial to tell you there how much water you've got in to drain this down the cassette is you just pop this out here drop it down and wait till the water's all emptied out so now that's uh, all the water side covered on the motorhome all the draining down um, before you did put it into storage or before you stop using it what would be a good idea is to give the van a good wash outside because it is going to be standing for quite a while and let's go inside and see what else we can do okay now we're inside the van what we can do is open all the cupboards also gives you a chance to get rid of all the clutter you've saved up over the year so if we open all the cupboards it just allows ventilation so the air can circulate and then we can move over to the fridge we can open the fridge to stop any mildew and then another thing we can do to keep the circulation going and the walls do get cold in winter just move the cushions away from the walls by opening all the cupboards and also by opening the fridge as well it does give you a chance and um, to make sure you've left no food products in the motor home and um, because it does attract vermin and they are prone to the odd munch on electrical wires as well as well as moving the cushions away from the walls if you do have a drop down bed like this particular motorhome has you must lower your bed down to create an air gap to allow circulation uh, because of condensation and if you don't you will ruin your mattress a lot of motorhomes do have a tendency to hold water on the roof so another good tip over winter is to chock one of the wheels to create a natural runoff for the water And the last thing you want over winter is water standing on the roof because it'll freeze up and it will damage your seals on top of the roof. With leisure batteries it's ideal if you could get a hook up into the van so you could trickle charge them but if you can't um, either disconnect the leisure battery or even better still take them out and put them in your garage or into your house. Um, with motorhome vehicle batteries it is always a good idea to start the van once a week and let them have a good run. We hope this video has been useful for you for uh, winterising your motorhome over winter. Um, but more importantly, just make sure you drain that water heater down. Um, and then also all the other things that we've discussed. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more hints, tips, reviews, uh, make some models of motorhomes. And see you next time.